a lot of people think karate is all about fighting, mm -hmm. but there's a lot in karate. It's a sport that everyone should do, even the footballers. I'll, I'll tell you right now in Africa, uh, Nigeria, Ivory Coast, and Cameroon, they're training them karate for their discipline. If you have noticed now the behavior of the uh, uh, Nigerians, uh, Ivory Coast or Cameroon, when one drops they go and pick their friends. Mm. When somebody shouts at them, they do not shout back. They'll say sorry. Inspiration Station Morenga with that one Paths uh, starting us off on our MYD Heart segment for today. We are joined in the studio today by Sensei Mangaba Simba, uh, the Chief Instructor at the Namibian Kyokushin Karate Organization, an international organization that educates and trains youth in schools and uh, colleges. Good afternoon to you, uh, Sensei, um, and thank you so much for joining us here on 99FM. Thank you so much, and thank you for inviting me to it's, this special event. It's a pleasure to have mm. you, sir. Uh, tell us a bit about yourself and where your love and passion for karate started. Uh, thank you so much. Um, you won't believe this. Um, karate was not a thing for me. Mm. I was very good in football. Okay. And um, years back, some 30 years ago, I got involved with a lady and uh, only to discover that uh, the guy who wanted her mm. was doing karate. Okay. <laughs> and the guy was so, uh, everyone around the, our community was scared of him. Mm. So I decided to take karate yeah. so that I could win the lady. Challenge him. Mm. Yeah, because the lady didn't want him. The lady wanted me. Okay. <laughs> so I started karate for that purpose. <laughs> okay. You know, for only that reason. Ah. But uh, when I joined karate, all the ideas of me to f go and fight and all that, I discovered that was not what karate was meant for. Mm. There was a lot of discipline. And um, you, believe me, at the end of the, um, the training sessions, you don't even feel like going to fight. You yeah. do not even want to fight. You do not want to see people fight. So it gave me the, um, the discipline and uh, I loved karate. Mm. And uh, it took me to a stage where I had to stop doing football and concentrate on, on karate. karate yeah and my passion grew in karate because of that mm. and uh, all the ideas the reasons i joined karate were all gone we're all gone <laughs> that, that initial reason <laughs> was, initial gone. was gone <laughs> <laughs> tell us a bit yeah. about the namibian uh, mm -hmm. kyokushin karate organization tell mm -hmm. us a bit about you know that and what it's all mm -hmm. about yes uh, namibian kyokushin karate organization is an ngo organization we affiliate ourselves uh, to National Sports Commissioner mm. through to the Minister of Youth and Sports. And then uh, coming to the NGO part where we officially also help other um, uh, organizations that are vulnerable with their children, we are registered with the Minister of Trade. Um, our organization, apart from it being a sports organization, we also educate our children in a number of things that they benefit in. Uh, one, the sport itself. Two, the health part of it. Three, we give them a skill that uh, believe me, not any you can't prize it. It's mm, priceless. Mm. We give them a skill that they have for a life, um, especially for a girl child. And um, we also partner ourselves with uh, Kids uh, Alive um, Orphanage. It's a foster home where they have children who are vulnerable and all that. So we teach these children in self-defense we, we buy them uniforms, we pay for their upgrading of their standards and all that, mm. and help them. We also partner with Wanaeda Police, uh, with the Department of uh, Gender-Based. We also help the women into gender-based violence and all that. Okay. And um, we see ourselves being not just an organization or a club, we call ourselves a family. A family. I love that. Just quickly again to touch on, on, on the benefits, Sensei. Um, you know, normally when you hear karate, all you think about is fighting mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, being able to defend yourself mm -hmm. when you are, are encountered by somebody who's trying to put hands on you. But just again to emphasize on, on some of the benefits that you get from, from joining uh, karate. karate. What are some of those benefits? Yes. Uh, thank you so much. Um, let me start with the children. Uh, with the children, um, they're excited about karate for one reason, mm. but they don't understand what karate <laughs> is. Mm. They get excited to fight. They get excited, the idea of going around, kicking around. Mm. But when they come and start training with us, they found that it's not what they expect. 
we are like a military. We teach them manners. We teach them the Japanese discipline, the way of culture, the Japanese culture. Mm. We teach them when to talk, when to answer, or when to do something. And we, as much as we teach them how to fight, but we teach them when to fight. Yeah. So it also gives them the, the discipline of um, becoming humble. We give them a skill of leadership skills because we give them a certain patterns which we call cutters which teaches them how to move, how to defend themselves. And then above that also, it's got a lot of health benefits. Um, if you come to our training center, which is a dojo, mm. you find that we're training without shoes. Somebody may think that we're poor. Mm. Football, they have boots. <laughs> the other sports have boots. Yeah. But why karate, they train without shoes? Mm. It's not that we're poor. We have expensive shoes. Yeah. But for health reasons, which you'll be surprised to know today, is... Um, when we are training, the body gets heat up. The magnesium from the ground, together with the body, combined together, mm -hmm. it prevents about 36 diseases in the body. Wow, I never knew that. Yeah, so there's certain patterns when you move, uh, uh, stances, we call them stances. Well, uh, maybe in Tuzengu Sudan, which is a forward stance, or cut stance, which is Niko Ashidachi, or Kibadachi, which is a horse riding stance. The certain part of your foot touches the ground mm. and it gets massaged, as you are aware that everything about the body is under our foot. If you go to Japan itself, or let me just say Asia, more especially India, the most expensive massage you get is a foot massage. Mm, really? Yes. And then um, they have reached a stage where they also just cure you. They don't give you medicine anymore. They'll just cure you certain part of the foot wow. and you get cured. And That's you get amazing. that free from karate training. From karate training. I love that. <laughs> um, you actually already answered this question, um, mm -hmm. Sensei. What sets your, you know, dojo apart from other dojos, basically? Yes. Um, our dojo is special in a way that is a family, like I mentioned. Yes. When the children come, we get children as young as four years old. In fact, uh, we have a history where um, three years ago, uh, one parent came with a boy and the boy was three years old and we almost refused to enroll him mm. but the mother insists that the child was clever and was hyper you know all those things so he said okay we'll try him his name is zen the mm. boy is zen mm. i wish i'd come with him here so that you see <laughs> he's now four years with us yeah the boy is accurate the boy is good so imagine from three years when we started training him to make him stand you'll be the one telling the others when the others don't even want to stand. You'll mm. be the one telling them to do this and that. So we've become a family in Namibia with all the children, and that relationship also goes to the parents. Yeah. So I think we differ ourselves to other dojos in a special way that uh, we do not treat our dojo as a training center mm. only, but we treat it as a home. As a home. That's where beautiful. everyone comes and then we give them the love. Mm. You should see when the children start, when they sit, they don't even want to go home. Aww. We have to tell them now it's, it's time, time to, to go, go home. Mm. It's time to do. So they feel at home when they come and train with us. Yeah. We teach them the love. Some of them, they come, they don't want to talk to their friends. Mm. Two, three weeks later, they're all talking to each other. So we teach them manners. We teach them to love each other. We teach them also to care about each other. Mm. When one makes a mistake, we tell them that the mistake is for everyone. It's so for everybody. whoever laughed, everyone gets yeah. punished. <laughs> so that's all that uh, we also teach yeah. them. Yeah. No, I think also just one thing that I've, I've um, not picked up, but, but understand about karate, even though I haven't, you know, taken part in classes myself, is that it's not just about, you know, the fact that you, you'll be able to fight and defend yourself, but also about discipline, like you mm. mentioned um, earlier. Uh, Sensei, just uh, finally, if I, as a person, would like to join your dojo, or if I would like to bring my, my child to join your dojo, how can we get in, get in touch with you? Uh, thank you very much. Please give me just a minute before I answer the mm -hmm. uh, requirements of joining our dojo. I just want to tell you about karate. A lot of people think karate is all about fighting, mm -hmm. but there's a lot in karate. It's a sport that everyone should do. Even the footballers, I will, I will tell you right now in Africa, uh, Nigeria, Ivory Coast, and Cameroon, they're training them karate for their discipline. If you have noticed now the behavior of the uh, uh, Nigerians, uh, Ivory Coast, or Cameroon, when one drops, they go and pick their friends. Mm. When somebody shouts at them, they do not shout back. They'll say sorry. It's all the discipline of karate they're getting. Mm. In South Africa, we have the rugby team. Our branch chief in South Africa, he's the one who trains them karate, 
to, to use in the rugby. So karate is something that I would age parents not to ask their children. Mm, just to put them. But to tell to them to them. go and do karate. Yeah. Because it's got everything. Mm. I'll tell you something that you'll be surprised or maybe you already know. In Japan, when a child goes to school, they do not teach them how to write for the next three years. Wow. They teach them manners. They teach them the attitude. And that's what you get in karate. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. When the child comes to karate, we don't teach them to fight. Some of them come insulting and all that. We teach them not to insult. We teach them to care about each other and Discipline all that. Discipline and manners. Yeah. It's also good for the... Like, like, for example, we went through from last year in March until now we're in this phase levels of uh, COVID-19. Mm. Believe in none of our children, none of our uh, uh, senior adults, myself or any of our members uh, was uh, affected with the like COVID-19. COVID. Mm. So it also builds your immune system, yeah. So which is good. Coming to where you find us <laughs> <laughs> and how you join our organization. Yeah. We are located at uh, Westland Shopping Mall in Pioneers Park. We're just right opposite Concordia College on the traffic uh, going to Rocky Crest. We're on the left side, the nice building there you mm. see, uh, Westland Shopping Mall. We are upstairs. Uh, as you are going to spa, there are stairs going up on your left side. So we are up there. Um, how to enroll, you come to our office upstairs, uh, or you can get in touch with us by phone. Uh, our phone number is 081-706-8305 or our administrator 081-8080-825. You come there, we'll give you the forms. You and, fill it um, in. And fill it in, and then uh, we'll give you the conditions and all that. So all we that. get children from four years old. For the adults, we go on 200 years. <laughs> <laughs> Sensei, thank you so much mm -hmm. for, for making time to come to come teach us mm -hmm. about karate mm -hmm. and chatting to us about the benefits of karate as mm -hmm. well. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, one thing also, we welcome you to come. Mm -hmm. As a lady, we are having a starting first uh, November, we're having class free for the ladies. Mm. Self-defense classes. Mm. Self-defense classes. All right. Thank you so much again, Sensei. Thank you. All right. That is Sensei, of course, uh, Sensei Ban Mangaba Simba, who is the Chief Instructor at the Namibian Kyokushin Karate Organization. If you missed out on the interview, guess what? You can listen again on the 99FM app.